Welcome over everyone. We're live in Dallas. We have just finished the initial launch of Dynamics 365 Saturday in the United States in Dallas. Woo! And it was a lot of fun. So many people came. Anyway, um, Rash Chowdhury has came all the way from the UK and I managed to convince him to get on and make a video with me on YouTube about what Dynamics 365 Saturday is. See, it's a free volunteer driven movement where basically you're addressing the challenges that typically hit these big dynamic CRM and ERP or small ones implementations with free training from community recognized experts. It's organized by MVPs. Microsoft helps and the general community helps. It is incredible. The best experience I have ever had in my 10, you know, um, in over 10 years at least of doing this was at that conference. I mean, you talk about grassroots and the passion. So basically, let's go ahead and go through. Let's get started. And you know, Raz, I want to talk to you for a moment. Can you, Mr. You know, of course, MVP, CRM developer, you pay, you basically done it all. Can you explain to me, you know, some of the content in some of the content that's covered by this free training and kind of, you know, help the rest of us understand, you know, just really what's delivered, how good it is. Well, first of all, thank you, Brandon, thank you. Uh, for helping get, getting the first US USA Dynamic Saturday uh, launched. It was and, good. And uh, it was, you know, incredible. it was an awesome event. Mm -hmm. And um, one of the themes uh, of Dynamic Saturday, as you mentioned, is to address the challenges of CRM and ERP, as well as traditional yep. uh, digital transformation. So you'll see common themes such as, um, you know, um, CRM strategies such as DevOps, mm. um, helping people to understand best practices around customization and development. Yeah. However, one thing we've been doing this year is in having more focus on field services. Mm. So you've probably heard of Ben Volmer, um, mm -hmm. who's a field service yeah. expert for Microsoft. And uh, what we've been doing is incorporating field service workshops into Dynamic Saturday. Mm. Um, so the reason why we're so excited uh, and so I'm putting so much emphasis on field services is because a uh, field service scheduling engine with inside of Dynamics 365 provides a way to maximize on the resource utilization of your staff mm -hmm. according to their skills, their ability, their location, their availability. And so what we're wow. finding uh, from the customers is that they're getting a far more return on investment from field service solution than your traditional CRM software. Yeah, yeah. Now, for, for those of us in the AX world, right, um, and we're just now, you know, hearing about this field services, and obviously there's a lot of interest from, from many yeah. people in the ERP space. From what I understand now, this allows us to track time and, you know, really handle services of people out in the field doing service type activities and have a system for doing that. Is that is that correct? Spot on. And it doesn't just stop there, Brandon. Mm, and there's fine. also some baked in um, Azure integration, which is actually providing further ability to mm. improve, for example, your journey times, to maximize the efficiency, so that when you've got deliveries going out, when you're sending out your agents, that they are following the most optimized routes. Um, oh, wow. So those engines are baked into Dynamics 365. So delivery yeah. routes, things like that. AX people, you're all hearing this, right? Woo! Okay, okay, whoops, sorry. Operations people, right? Operations and finance people, but still. So so delivery routes, things like that, wow, wow. And shipping and... Yeah, and uh, that's also coupled with, the, obviously, the, the, the new announcement of the new unified interface for Dynamics 365. Mm. And essentially what that's offering is an improved browser performance of your Dynamics 365 application as well as more of a consistent experience across not only um, devices but across um, across platforms as well and uh, this is also very exciting because now users can have the same rich experience that they have on a web client but on their mobile device as well amazing no wonder microsoft is really working on this now for those of us in the erp space and obviously many people do have crm but not everyone um, what would be the benefit for people in the ERP space? How would, how, how hard would this be, would you say, to integrate with this external system? Like, you know, for example, it does it support the common data model? Excellent point. So as you know from the keynote given by Chris yes. Conley, which was an awesome keynote, yes. um, he basically showcased the CDS, which is now yes. the common data service model um, that, that 
will be built. Uh, um, that that is actually uh, an important component of Dan now Dynamics 365. And basically, all these solutions work leveraging on the common data service model. What this means is that not only do we have a single repository for mm. our single truth of tr single source of truth for our customer information, but what we also have is more of a native experience, which wow. goes on to lead me to talk about not only the, the new virtual entity capability, mm -hmm. uh, which is going to allow you, us to consume external data a lot more easily within our Dynamics Research mm. Drive platform, mm. but also, um, Chris also uh, mentioned a lot about and showcased the features of Power Apps and Flow. Mm. And what was interesting? Covering our sessions, yeah, definitely. And as you saw from the pictures, that the people were flowing out the room. <laughs> you flowing out the room to get in. You guys have seen some of these pictures definitely, before yeah. in this video. And and I was also interested that there was a lot of interest from the AX community, which was yes. surprising. For there was flow and power ups. Yeah, there was. Yeah, yeah, that was pretty. Yeah, that that was pretty amazing. And, and the theme of citizen developer, it was really challenged and questioned uh, by the audience, which was also really refreshing to hear. Yes, yes, it was. Yes, it was. In, in general, a lot of developers yeah. tend to get pretty apprehensive about citizen developer. Yeah. And I, I would say that a lot of questions I thought were answered. But, you know, what I really what I really saw is I saw a lot of coming together of the two lines at this yeah. conference. And we really, I had never really gotten that before we started working directly with these experts and a lot of times too, I mean, people from the Microsoft product teams were there. Now, there was one particular session I want to talk about for a moment too, also that really was just amazing in my opinion, um, the session on marketing. Can you comment about that? I mean, that was brand new from the product team, had never been delivered anywhere else. And Microsoft came out and delivered this on site and it was phenomenal. Everyone loved it, competitive advantage. Can you? Can you talk a lot about what this new marketing functionality is towards, you know, being able to make money? That's that's correct, Brandon. So uh, this new marketing app uh, for Dynamics is, is something that's been long awaited. Um, and now that Microsoft customers can leveraging leverage on um, marketing automation, on analytics from their emails directly within inside Dynamics 365, as well as event management capabilities mm. included with that. So. Um, there's lots of new uh, goodies for the for the Microsoft customers out there, um, and have that natively baked in rather than having to always use third-party resources and tools. Now it's all coming under one roof and highly integrated. Wow! Um, so it's awesome to see that uh, you know in person. Wow! Amazing, and it was. I mean, I was so amazed with what I saw. You know, even there were okay. First of all, there were a group of A-list speakers there to begin with. I mean, industry experts who knew their stuff and they definitely did not disappoint. We saw it all, we saw um, we saw it amongst CRM, amongst AX, amongst the financials. Everyone in pretty much everyone who attended the conference that I spoke with walked up to me and said, "Wow, I learned so much and can we continue?" So, Raz, something that's going to help us a lot, okay? Just how much involvement does Microsoft have in this Dynamics 365 Saturday movement? Well, as you know, Brandon, um, the Microsoft product team have been heavily involved uh, in, in delivering most of the important sessions. And this is a very important for Microsoft so that they can get the feedback directly from the users. Um, we saw the sessions by Chris Koenig, and uh, as well as Mitch Malum, Ben Volmer, and and the rest, of, and as well as Salesh from the from from the, from the marketing yes. team. So yes. um, there is a lot of involvement um, with Microsoft, and uh, it's a big thanks to Microsoft as they are personally invested in seeing success in projects, and um, it actually goes on to uh, it actually reflects really on their mission statement, which is to empower every person and, and every organization uh, within the world to be able to achieve their goals and so with the introduction of power apps and flow and and, and these and these new toolings to enable citizen developers uh, as well as James Phillips really really breaking mm. down the silo uh, with the worlds of CRM and ERP uh, with the launch of the event that we had in London um, those yeah. those mission statements that Microsoft are trying to achieve is is something that's very very important for organisations struggling with digital transformation uh, and disruption today. Mm. And Microsoft is really a, an enabler in doing this, and Dynamic Saturday is a platform to allow the ex experts to be accessible um, to wow. the um, to whether it's customers or partners or end users all alike uh, are getting value from this. Mm. I agree. I agree. I mean, I definitely saw it myself. And, you know, to me, it seems like, you know, I've 
I've been training for a long time as an instructor. I know you have too. And it seems like to me like one of the biggest challenges that trainers faced was that the content started moving so fast where traditionally, you know, you take three months, write a course, something else. In three months, your content could be completely out of date. It seems to me like this model addressed that by allowing these experts to go directly to grassroots and give these deep dive sessions that really focused on training and getting an idea of what's new. Like today, I got a chance to see what was new in marketing, I mean, from that session. So today I have an idea what it is um, and an idea of a, of a lot of components and a lot of functionality. Yeah. So Raz, I got one more question for you. And I have to ask this as a, you know, born and raised in Oklahoma, but I live in Dallas. How was our friendly state of Texas and how was the city of Dallas? What were your impressions of it? Well, Brandon, uh, having the first Army Saturday in the USA was so important because it is almost like a hotbed for ERP. Mm -hmm. and with all the Fortune 500 companies and manufacturing and industrial. A lot of them came. That's right, mm -hmm. exactly. Yep. Yeah. And uh, for that very, very reason, it was very, very important to address those issues. And um, But what I found really um, interesting was the culture, um, mm. you know. And, uh, and really, Brandon, thanks for organizing the barbecue that we had uh, after the event. That was really right, enjoyable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But how much barbecue did you actually eat, Brandon? I mean... Uh oh, well, um, um, no comment. No comment. Bye-bye, everyone. Hey, it was really good. Dynamics 365 Saturdays happening all across the world. See you soon, but no comment about the barbecue. <laughs> Bye.